There are many reasons why we need to focus on getting enough fiber. It reduces your risk of bowel cancer, of diabetes, of heart disease, and it helps keep the bacteria that live in your intestines healthy. And what that does is it improves your immune system, your mood, and generally keeps your body in really good shape. Also, getting enough fiber will make sure you don't get constipated. But it's not enough just to get total volume, enough fiber, you need to think about the types of fiber that you're having. And there's actually three different types. The first type is what we call soluble fiber, and that's shown here in things like fruits and vegetables with their skin on, psyllium husks, your legumes, and also we've got some barley there. What that does is with that type of fiber dissolves in water, it creates a gel. And when food moves from the stomach to the small intestine, it makes it go a little bit slower. Why is that good? Because when it's in the small intestine and it's moving through slowly, it increases the amount of time that your body has got to absorb those nutrients from your food. So the good stuff, okay? So getting lots of soluble fiber is a really good idea. The second type of fiber is the insoluble fiber. And that is in your grains, um, in brown rice, quinoa, and it's basically roughage. And what that does is when the food, your digested food, gets to your large intestine, it makes sure that it goes out quicker. And it also adds bulk to your stool. And what that means is it reduces the amount of time that the toxins um, that are kind of trying to pass out your body will spend in the large intestine. So that's definitely a good thing, plenty of roughage to keep things moving through. Now the third subtype of fiber that a lot of people don't know about is called resistant starch. And that's in your, your greenish unripe bananas. When you cook pasta, rice, potatoes, and they go cold, the starch changes and it turns into this resistant starch. And that's a really important food source for those couple of kilos of bacteria that live in your intestines. And it keeps the cells of your, your, um, your gut healthy and keeps those healthy bacteria really, really happy. So plenty of resistant starch is where it's at. And actually, we really fall short here in New Zealand on this resistant starch. That's something we need to focus on a lot more. So overall, we in New Zealand have about 20 grams of fiber a day. We need to get near 28 for ladies, 38 for guys. So looking at including more of these types of foods in your day is really important. The other thing to know is on the back of food packaging, you won't often find fiber on the label, particularly on low fiber foods because it's not a legal requirement for it to be there. So if you're looking on the back of packaging and you don't see fiber, it probably means that there's not very much in there. So have a look at what you're eating, see how you can boost the fiber so that you can feel better.